Hello and thanks for joining us. It's time for Culture on France 24 and today's show will be 100% music. Our guest today is British jazz musician Sue Richardson, a trumpet player, singer and composer. She's been touring the world since the age of 16, players, playing with various big bands. In October she will release her third album and today we'll be getting a sneak preview. Sue Richardson, thank you for being here. Hi, nice to be here. First question, you're one of the only female uh, singer and trumpet players. Why is that? Is it very difficult for women uh, to find a place in, uh, in jazz music? I think it, it was, but it's gradually become becoming more and more acceptable and uh, sometimes you're given a bit of a harder time because you've got to prove yourself even more. There's a lot of female singers but not so many instrumentalists and it, people aren't quite sure where to put you. Um, so your instrument is of course very important mm. for you, you're a trumpet player and you've actually paid tribute to it on your second album. Uh, the track is called Eclipse, uh, it's named after your custom made gold trumpet. It is. And uh, you performed this track uh, at the London Jazz Festival in 2008, mm -hmm. let's take a look. Sue Richardson, that was in 2008, and now you're, you've been working for the past year or so on your third album. Are you taking a new direction? Or what can fans expect? Um, I've, it's called Fanfare, and it's basically a fanfare of jazz, so I'm trying to take lots of different genres of jazz and use those to influence my writing, which I've done over the last year or so. But I've written in a different way. I, I've had a baby since my last album, and I don't have the time to write in the same way that I did, which was locking myself in the studio with the piano. So it's... Um, it, a lot of it has been thought out in my head and then just worked out onto paper quickly and in rehearsals. Well, one of the tracks is already finished. Mm -hmm. It's called In Between, and we're now going to offer our viewers a sneak preview of this album with this song. And you've already finished the cover of the album. Let's listen to the song anyway. It's called In Between. <laughs> So a month ago you were on stage at the Hammersmith Apollo in London for a special, um, a special concert for Humph. Um, there was an impressive lineup there with Stacey Ken, Jules mm -hmm. Holland and yeah. Charlie Watts who's the drummer of Rolling Stones. What is he like? Uh, he's lovely. He's an absolute gent. And he um, stayed backstage with all of the musicians, just hanging out, talking to... There were some very young drummers from the Royal Academy, chatting to them, giving them some tips. And he was just lovely, a, a really nice guy to be around. Because very few people know that, uh, of course, he's in the Rolling Stones, so he likes his rock and roll. But uh, he really does like his jazz music. That's what he prefers, really. Yeah, he does. And he's got a big band and a small jazz band. And you can often see him out gigging with those as well. And it's, it's lovely to have such a big mix of people on one stage. It was great. Well, Sue Richardson, your third album is called Fanfare. It will be out in October. Thank you very much for coming to see us here in Paris in our France Get Studios. Thanks for having me. Thank you. That's it for this edition of The Culture Magazine. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to France 24.